Or you can see that early this morning, November 6th, my first prick of the day, it is 80. And so here are my numbers recently from the day that I started all the way to today. And so, so far my numbers are good. And it even shows at the top where before meals, which is on this column, it has to stay below 95. And then um, two hours after eating, it has to be below 120. So there was only one number that is even uh, over the 120, but everything else is good. Um, I do have an appointment on November 10th to check my numbers again to make sure I don't need medications. And I do wanna show you guys, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, it does say 2021, but I have been using it for my uh, for my keep up on what I eat in a day and so I just wanted to show y'all real quick a quick glance while Everly is drinking her milk this morning so this is from Monday the 26th and so basically I write right here breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack so this is what I've been keeping up with Good morning, mama. Good morning. She felt pretty warm this morning, so when she woke up, so I gave her some Motrin so she could feel a little bit better. Huh, I need your mama. You want the camera? <sighs> okay, so she drank all of her milk. And so she drank, she usually drinks seven to eight ounces, depending on if I have fed her earlier before she went to sleep, but last night I didn't. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lynn, and this is my daughter, Everly, and I am expecting baby girl too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can be part of our family. Okay, since the rain stopped, I think I'm gonna take Everly to Target. I like to put her shoes on so she can get used to walking in the shoes and then also just getting used to having to wear shoes. So that's why I'm gonna try to let her walk. Maybe I'm thinking go to Target to food shop and then probably since Home Goods is right there, I'm thinking about just letting her run around Home Goods so she can have a good first nap. But I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, this Friday we're winging it because I want to get my steps in too just because I don't, because with gestational diabetes, you got to make sure you maintain walking as well. So she loves running around in these shoes. Yeah. What? Okay. All done. But she could definitely outrun me. <laughs> when it comes to once I put her shoes on, she just bolts. <sighs> so. Here you go. See, here's a little preview of how she walks. Where she definitely outruns me. Are you ready to go? You ready? You gonna hold your binky? 
You want me to carry you? Uh, you too happy for mama, baby. All right, made it to Super Target and it is pouring down rain. Luckily, I was able to put Everly in here without her getting wet. So we're walking inside. Oh, got my caramel brulee latte. For some reason, they didn't give me a free cup. I guess they don't have any here. So you would have to go to a actual Starbucks. But I got um, a cookie, chocolate chip cookie, so she can munch on. I have her other chips right here, but she doesn't want it. Okay, so we're gonna shop around. It's currently 9.06 right now. So Home Goods doesn't open till 10. The weather outside is so crappy. It's raining, but I wanted Everly to still get out. So I was able to food shop as much as I could because I ended up having to bring the uh, baby stroller in because I didn't want Everly to run around like a maniac. So. I couldn't get the bigger cart and plus it was pouring down rain so I didn't want to have to drag her without a hat or jacket on. I mean at least I got my coffee caramel brulee latte but I think me and Em are gonna go probably pick up some McDonald's and I'll probably sit back there and eat with her because uh, we are hungry or baby girl too is hungry. But that was kind of successful. Everly was kind of twitchy a little bit, wanted to get out, but I kind of had to distract her with the cookie and all that. But yeah, we're about to go to probably get Burger King breakfast or McDonald's breakfast. I parked the car. We're just waiting for our home goods to open at 10. So we got some Burger King. I got a sausage egg croissant with hash browns and uh, french toast, but I'll probably save that for later, but I do have hash browns for Everly. Whoa. Oh, you want another one? I gotta make sure it's not hot, baby. I got these sausage egg croissant. No cheese. You want another one? You want to try some, ma'am? Want to try it? Cause she knows she's about to go inside Home Goods <laughs> and walk around. Be careful. Trying to feed her more eggs, or at least the sausage, but she'd rather have the hash browns. She's definitely my daughter because I love fries. I love fries, hash browns, anything potato, I love it. Hmm. So, it is currently 9.54 right now. I'm still, we're still sitting in the back, waiting for our home goods to open up, and... I'm just letting Everly stretch her legs out and then we're gonna probably go walk around inside Home Goods. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find anything that I want, but we'll see. But it's mainly for Everly to just walk around, more like run around, get her energy out. And plus it's not as many people early morning on opening time, so that's why, that's another reason why I'm going. So home goods early morning it's just because it's not going to be compacted with a bunch of people 
but they do have two cars waiting right now outside besides us for it to open but it's not that many people and i'm glad the rain kind of stopped but it is so dark outside but chris just called me and told me he's home from work so after home goods we're gonna go on home i only ate like three-fourths of it and then like one or two hash browns so i gotta put my timer on for two hours so i can prick myself and then eat a snack after that but everly is just living life she's pretty full from the hash browns huh Oh, and you're stepping all over the keys. <sighs> but this is how you know you have a child in the car when things are everywhere. Look at that. Water. Yes, 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 yeah. Well, now there's a third car waiting for opening. <sighs> but, yep. Just kind of chilling right now it is 9:56. what are you doing baby huh what are you doing huh where's your binky where's your binky <laughs> good girl why are you messing with the hand sanitizer are you trying to remind the people to use hand sanitizer at all times? Hmm. What you doing? So we will see you whenever we get out of home goods because I'm not gonna bring the camera in just because I'm gonna be mainly focusing on her because she's not gonna be in the stroller. She's gonna be walking around so. I'm going to see y'all after home goods. Or nothing that I wanted, honestly. But I have Everly secured in her car seat. I'm about to head home for her to see daddy. And then, um, yeah, just let's see how much longer. I have an hour, 33, until I have to prick myself, so. You better be careful. So, Chris is putting a toy organizer together. I need to finish up Everly's room and vacuum. I have a lot of stuff I need to organize. Got the toys right here. And I have to clear everything, vacuum everything, toys everywhere, chairs everywhere. <laughs> I have a lot to do but I did organize the closet or was able to and I also need to do the guest room as well so I was able to pull out the mamaru pulled out the car seat we did pull out the bassinet it's in our room and I do need to work on that closet on my to-do list because good thing I'm able to be off today from work. So my main priority is Everly's room and the guest room. And then once I'm done with that, then I can chill and relax.
So it is currently 1.52 right now. We're eating a late lunch. Everly is eating green peas with the morning hash browns. And I'm eating leftover Popeyes and a salad. Okay, so it's currently 2.14 and I'm about to put my two hour timer because I just got finished eating. And I gotta clean this corner and all her toys. I gotta go through it, see which one she still plays with because we just pulled the pack and play. So I just added in, so I had two chicken Popeyes with the salad ranch and then I had two french toast because I wanted something sweet and then for the snack I did have a leftover coffee from Starbucks and I ate it with some almonds. So that is how it's going so far right now. Um, but like I said, today is just going by random it's not scheduled honestly but I broke down the Amazon boxes and my girl Alyssa and Alex and William and Louie they are so sweet this one says enjoy your gift daddy tram from Alyssa and got a size up so she'll have some onesies oh my gosh but I'm gonna keep these little notes like I always do but I wanted to show y'all what <laughs> Alyssa spoiled us with so she got us some diapers for baby girl too and then this draft newborn which I do love the smell so I definitely agree we needed the draft and it's funny because I've been couponing on those draft too and she got me the baby car monitor I put it in my baby registry because I saw Alyssa had one and I was like, ooh, I have to try it out. And I am super excited to try that out because we have the regular like um, car mirror and I bought another one, I believe, but I want to try this monitor and see. And she was so sweet. She bought me this shirt. It's so cute. It says, I run a girl gang true <laughs> and then she bought this shirt for daddy she bought it for chris and it says you can't scare me i have two daughters <laughs> and then here's the onesie she bought for baby girl too how cute it is for six to nine months but i i definitely will be using it oh so cute i love the theme of it and it's very neutral too, so whenever I do have a boy, <laughs> or if I ever do have a boy, then I can reuse these, of course. So that's super nice. So that is everything that Alyssa has spoiled us with. And I'm kind of whispering a little bit because um, Chris is putting Everly down for her last nap of the day. While I'm trying to finish up with the rooms, and I just got finished FaceTiming Alyssa and I showed her my guest room and it is a total disaster. This for baby girl too and for our whole family, which you didn't have to, but thank you so much. I love you, Alyssa. I definitely need to plan to go over to her house before I pop baby girl out because I'm getting super big. <sighs> but yes, I am still nesting. I can only nest on the weekends just because I work 
during the weekday. So daddy is cooking dinner while we're watching The Voice on Hulu. But I'm currently just chilling on the rocking chair. But Everly end up skipping a nap or her afternoon nap. So she's gonna be up for a little bit and then she'll, I'll probably put her to sleep early. Hey, she just kicked my phone onto the floor. Look what daddy made. So got a Caesar salad, right honey? Caesar salad, salmon for me and green beans. Everly eating green peas. Yeah. Chris is eating steak. Okay, so I was only able to eat half the salmon, half the salad, and I did eat the green beans. So let me put my two hour alarm. So that's when I prick myself and look at this girl, all messy. Hey, did your mama. She's so ticklish like her daddy. Tigger, 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 before I have to prick myself again. So usually I try to get Everly all ready for nighttime. She's currently watching Disney Plus right now. And so usually I give her her milk and then if I need to give her Tylenol or Motrin or you know, just cause she has a tooth. I think she has two teeth breaking through her gums, but I think she's doing fine right now. <sighs> It's only 7.15, but since Everly dropped her afternoon nap, I'm pretty sure she's going to sleep before 8 o'clock, so I'll probably be watching Netflix. Lately, I've been watching, um, catching up on The 100, because season 7 came out, like, long time ago. And then I'm going to burp her, and then just let her digest, and then uh, hopefully I can get her to sleep before 8 o'clock comes around, but I need a mama. But she is, she got one ounce left. This was a six ounce bottle, I think. So I try to nightcap her, just try to, you know, give her milk before going to sleep. Try to burp her and stuff like that. Just so she can have a full belly before going to sleep. And I know she is kind of getting really tired just because she did drop her second nap. <laughs>
currently 8.53 right now and so I am about to call it a night um, just because my back's hurting and I need to rest my body because I obviously been nesting and cleaning like crazy all day um but yeah i just wanted to close out this video and start editing it and ha hopefully have it up for you guys by tomorrow so make sure you turn on that notification bell so i'm actually going to combine my 33 week and 34 week update next weekend that's because i have a upcoming appointment on november the 10th so i will just go ahead and just combine those footage together and so make sure you give me a thumbs up if you really liked this type of video what i did in a day what um yeah what i did on my off day today and what i eat in a day and especially with gestational diabetes it's honestly what i ate today it's i'm not perfect i'm not you know on a strict diet like you know i just kind of just portion size i just eat a little bit by a little bit with gestational diabetes you do have to write down what you eat and just prick yourself and then it's all trial and error you just have to see if your numbers over the limit then you have to portion size that or just have to figure out what your body is capable of breaking down keep in mind that whatever i ate all day today doesn't mean that your body's gonna affect the same way so make sure you keep in mind of that and um but yeah i don't eat the same thing all day every day i always change it up just because i want my body to at least get certain nutritions a different way so i just wanted to show y'all guys what i did today with everly click that red button down below if you aren't already part of my youtube family to subscribe and we are almost there uh, i still can't believe i'm already 33 weeks pregnant and time's going by so quickly i am just trying to hurry up and make sure i have everything in this house clean but anyways i really hope y'all like that video i know this video is going to be super long but i hope you still appreciate the video that i put together for you so Anyways, hope you have a good weekend. Hope you had a great Friday today. But hope you have a good weekend and stay safe. And make sure you check out my other old videos down below in the description box. Bye, you guys.